A good night of Shabbos, everyone, as we learn the uh, Mishnah Yaimis for this Erev Shabbos, Erev Shabbos of Shabbos Mavoch and Parashat Zachary Mois, as we uh, are dedicated Lili Nishmas Avram Yeshaya Ben Shmayo Yosef, the Rufu Shalema for Elio Moish Mechai Esorim for the Schus of Avram Yudam Benish, Ben Malki Hudis and family. We're dedicated by the Fisher family, Lilishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shomba Ben Abraham Alevi Peru Bas Rubain. We're also uh, dedicated by the old Klugman and family for their Panasa Guzunt and Nachas, and Lufu uh, Shalema for Meir Ben Chayesara, and for my mother Esther Fadal Bas Chana, they should have Rufu Shalema, the Seich Sharech of Yisrael. We're learning in the ninth parak of Nazir. Mishnah Aleph and Mishnah Beis, Hagoyim ain't lohem Naziris. There is no vow of Naziris by Goyim. Noshim ba'avodim, however, women and avodim kenanim, yesh lohem Naziris. They do have Naziris. However, both avodim kenanim and Noshim, their Naziris can in some way be uh, removed by uh, their husband or their odin, or their master. But it's different. Chaimim me banashim me ba'avadim. There's a chumrah of women over slaves. Shehu kaifes avda. He could stop his slave from uh, not drinking wine. He could stop his slave from uh, not going into a cemetery if he has work for him to do in the cemetery. But ve'ena kaifes ishtai. Once the wife is a bona fide nazira, then he cannot make her drink wine or be uh, metamel amesim. Chaimer me ba'avadim me ba'nashim, but there's a chum of, of servants by a woman. She may finish reishta because a husband could annul the vows of his wife. Ve'ena may finish reavdei. The master cannot annul the naziris of the evid. Hey for reishta. Therefore, if the husband annuls his wife, hey for alamis, it's annulled forever, and that means even if they get divorced or he dies, she's not a nazir anymore. Hey, for Lavda, here it doesn't really mean annul, but if he blocks his Evid, then Yotzel Cheris, if he emancipates the slave, or let's say he knocks out a tooth or an eye, Mashal Nizirusay, then he has to complete his Naziris. Ovar Mikineget Ponov, let's say the slave runs away. So now if the slave runs away, Remei Raimer Lo Yishti, he shouldn't drink wine. Now that might be even though the the other might prefer him to drink wine so that when he gets him back, he'll be healthier. But Ramea says he shouldn't drink wine this way because he's deprived. He'll want to come back to the Odin. Rabbi Yaisi, I'm a Yishta. Rabbi Yaisi says he could continue to drink wine because the Odin would want that, that he should stay healthy for when he gets him back. Now, Nazir Shigilach, a Nazir that already counted his 30 days, shaved, and then the Nodaloi Shu Tame. And then it became known to him that he was Tame. Im Tumah Yudua, if it was a Tumah that could have been seen, if it was a known Tumah, then Saisit, then uh, he forfeits all the days and uh, it, it, it has the regular din. Of a nazi that become tame, the im tumas atayim. But there's a loch lomish misinai that if it was a tuma of the deep, in other words, let's say something that that was under rubble uh, that nobody knew about, ain't a saiser. It's a loch lomish misinai. Of course, he's tame. He's going to need azor shlishi yishvi, but he doesn't lose the days that he counted. But there's a a interesting a caveat to this halacha l'mishim Sinai that the only time it's not saisu is only if he shaved already. Imat shaligilach, if he didn't shave yet, ben kach or ben kach saisu, even if it's a tumas tahayim, and he finds out about it, but he didn't shave yet, he loses his days. Now, Ketzat, here the Mishnah is going to add another interesting caveat. Yorid Litvol Bamara, if he went down to immerse in a cave, to a mix mikvah, the Nimtza Meist Tzaf Al Piyama Ora, and there was a uh, piece of corpse floating by the mouth of the Ma'ara, so that's a Tumma Yudua, then Tame, he's Tame, and in the event that uh, in, in the event that 
he finished his Naziris, he has to start his Naziris over again. Nimtza Meshuka Bekar Kama if, however, the piece of quartz was embedded in the ground of the cave, so there was no way to know about it, that's called the Tumas HaTayim, so then if he shaved already, then it's not Saisa. But that's only if Yorad Lahoker, that's only if he went into the mikvah to immerse himself. However, if, let's say, he went into the cave Letar Metumas Mace, he went into dunk in the mikvah to be metar from Tumas Ames. He came out and he started counting the zeros and then he finds out that there was a Tumas HaTahoyim even after he shaved embedded in the cave. Then Tomei. He's Tomei and even though it was a, a Tumas HaTahoyim he has to repeat his naziris. He has to start from the beginning. It's Saiser. Why? This is a very big Kiddush. Because Shecheskas Tomei Tomei. Since he went in there with a Chazaka of Toma, so we say that he's Tomei, even though it's a Tumas time. When it, he went in to just uh, cool off, to take a dip, the Cheskas Tar Tar, Shiraglayim Ladover, even though this is not a part of the Halach Lamishmi Sinai, but there's legs to stand on that the Halach Lamishmi Sinai that says that by a Tumas at it doesn't uh, soicer, uh his 30 days. That's only in the event that he was with a cheskas tar. But if he was with a cheskas toma, we do not say that. We want to thank you very much for joining us and uh, have a wonderful Shabbos.